Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. So in this new video I'd like to show you how to render just the part of your scene and actually why we need that. So for example here we have this scene here. For example I need to create two renders. The first render the character with the mask and the second render number two without the mask. So I don't need to create two renders. I just create one render, the first one with a mask. Then I don't need to render the second render, like a full render without the mask. And I render again and take time. Just, I use this trick and I render just this part of her face. Then using Photoshop layers, I create the second render. And this trick saved time because Actually, you render just a part of your scene, not the full render. And this trick render the part with the full quality and the full dimensions, like all those dimensions. So finally, you get the same quality. So let's do that. Here we have the first render with a mask. So here I just need to render the first render with a mask, like a full render. So render, render settings and I call it clear mask and I keep those settings here and I click render. So you can see here that this render, so you can see here that this render take like 30 minutes. So I just make it 100 here, max samples, just 30 minutes and maybe like take 40 minutes to to done the 100 max samples and here we have it we have the render so the idea here is i don't need to spend another 30 minutes to create the second render just without the mask so the idea here is to render just this part and using photoshop i create the second render with the same quality and the same dimensions so to do that you just need to go to window then here then search for something called tool settings okay then we go here universal and change it to spot render so here you have two choices you can just render a part of your render here just to to take to just to have an idea about the render so for example here, just like that. Or you click here new window and make actually the, the render. So in our case here, we just change this part. So we just render this part like that. For example, I just render this part. You can see here that rendering just this part of the scene of the render take like five minutes. So the full render take 30 minutes and just, just this part take like five minutes. Here we have the first render like with the mask and here we have just the this part of the render without the mask. And this is the render number two, like just a part of the first render without the mask. Okay, so we need to do something here. So let's apply or let's edit these two renders before we go to Photoshop. So as always, I use my presets. If you already know my channel, you know those presets. So I open Lightroom. So this is the first render. I just apply the preset and export. And this is the second render, do the same. I just apply, sorry, the preset and export. So those, pre so those presets are always available on my ArtStation store. You can get it. You can support me and enjoy it. Let's come back. So here we have our two renders after apply the preset. This is the final render, the first one. And this is just the, the part of, of our render without the mask. So we open these two renders with Photoshop just to create the render number two. This is the first one 
and I open also the second render just I copy all that and past here now I need to just to select this tool here and I just don't do that oh it's like magic here <laughs> So I don't need to render like full uh, render render number two like full render. Okay, done. I have the render number one and the render number two. This is render number one and this is render number two. I hope you understand the idea. So we don't need to render like full render number two. We render just the part that we change. In our case here is the mask, and using Photoshop we just uh, create the render number two it's really easy just here we need to uh, export and it's okay the same quality this is the first render this is just the part and here we have the render number two and here we have render number two same quality and it's really a good trick so finally guys if you enjoy this trick please don't forget to like and comment don't forget to share the video and thank you so much for your support and okay see you in the next video ciao